Hi, this is Darren Steinel, Director of Field Service. There have been some changes in the online training, and I wanted to show you how to find those um, in case you need to complete some of the trainings. Now, first of all, you're going to want to go to my.scouting and my.scouting.org, and you're going to enter in your, your, your username and your password if you have an account set up. If you don't have an account yet, you're going to need your member ID because um, you'll need that to set up your account. So I'm assuming that you have an account, you've logged in. What you're gonna do is, there's two ways to get to the training. One, you can click on the BSA Learn Center here on the right-hand side of the screen. And it will, and it looks a little bit different if you've been here before, it, it looks totally different. Um, and then depending on what kind of you're trying to do, you can do youth protection training. If you're a Cub Scout leader, you can go in here, Scouts BSA leader. Let's go into the Cub Scout one. We're gonna click in here and it basically you've got the different position specific trainings for Cub Scout leaders. Now, in the past, um, they, they um, were similar, but it, the format looked a little different. Now, one of the things that all direct contact leaders, such as Cub Masters, DEN leaders, they also have to complete hazardous weather training. And in the past, that wasn't part of these learning plans. You had to do it separately. So if you pick on any of these, let's go to the Cub Master training here. And you'll see that you can enroll for the training. It has some different lesson plans in here. Now, one of the things that we're going to do, I'm going to show you that the, the hazardous weather training is now incorporated into each of these leader-specific training sessions. Okay, so um, if you've never taken training before, you're going to get all the training you need to be considered trained, other than the youth protection, which you have to do that separately. Now, let's say that you um, have taken all of these other courses but didn't take the hazardous weather training, um, what you can do is just click here and then you can start the training course. It's 31 minutes long. Now, one other way that I can show you to get to this uh, training um, that I find is maybe a little bit easier is you go to menu and my training. And on here, it'll tell me whether my youth protection training is um, current um, which says that it's active, so it's current. If I need to retake the course, I can just click here and, and take it. Now, you can go into the training center. Well, actually, I'm gonna show you another thing here in requirements. So if I was registered as a DEN leader, it would show you know what training courses I need to complete to finish my training for a DEN leader. But since I'm not registered in a position that requires anything, it shows this on here. Um, but on yours, um, you can go to the requirements and you can go to the completions to see which trainings you have completed already. Some of these have expiration dates, some of them don't. So like this one ex expires, youth protection is a two-year expiration. Um, this, this training never expires, so I don't have to take it again. Now, let's go into the training center. Now, if I'm looking for a Cub Scout leader training, I can click on Cub Scouts. If I'm looking for Scouts BSA training, that's great. One of the things, maybe I'm looking to be a trained unit commissioner. Now, if I went into the BSA Learn Center and you go to the home, you're trying to find a commissioner basic training. It's got area stuff. Uh, where's the where's the unit commissioner basic training? Okay, it's, it's not in here. It's kind of hidden. So that's where I, I like going in here because I might see a little bit more. Um, so I go into position specific training and I'm looking for commissioner training. Okay, now, now it pops up here, commissioner training. And then I have my area, my commissioner, council commissioner, district commissioner, round table. Oh, here's my unit commissioner training. Okay, now all of these are kind of split into three or four subcategories. You have to complete all of them and each one of them may have multiple sessions. So they break it down into small little bits for you to take. So you don't have to complete the entire training all at one time. Uh, you can go in and do these at 10, 15 minute increments um, and it'll tell you when, you, when you've completed them or not. Okay, so to find that hazardous weather training, we're gonna go back here to training center and let's say I've done all the other training, I just need to take that hazardous weather training well, I can go down here to expanded learning, which includes hazardous weather. Now, again, it's kind of misleading because I don't see hazardous weather anywhere on here, but it's actually under program safety. 
So I click here, and you can see I've got climb on safely, safety afloat, and here's my hazardous weather training. Okay, so again, 31 minutes long, click start, and I'm good to go. So a couple different ways to get to it. Um, like I said, I prefer going through this way, through the training center here in my.scouting. I seem to have better luck finding things. Um, but you might be the type of person that you'd rather uh, click in over here and then find it that way. So good luck, and thank you for taking time to learn how to do training, and hopefully you can get online and get trained for your position. Thank you.